morning, everybody. This is Brian Wilson over at Consign Pro, and today I'm going to put together a short little training video on using our custom reporting feature off of our reports page. Uh, that feature has been in the software for, I think, almost a year now, uh, but some people did have questions about it, so I wanted to put something together really quick and easy. Um, I want to start by letting you know that our, my, our database for Consign Pro is stored in a tool called Microsoft Access. So if you have a copy of Microsoft Access on your computer, you can certainly open up our database and do a lot of the same things that we're going to be doing in custom reporting. Uh, you can do right in Microsoft Access. I'm going to pop us into Microsoft Access right now and give you a quick tour. On the left-hand side, you'll see a list of all of the tables that make up the Consign Pro database. We've got a customers table, which contains all of your consigners. Uh, I wish I named that consigners instead of customers, but it is what it is. That was many, many years ago now. Uh, we've got a merchandise table, which includes all of your inventory. And we've got other tables like invoices, invoice details, um, store, a whole bunch of things that show you what's going on with your data in Consign Pro. And if you know Microsoft Access or you have a copy of it, uh, you can do things like run your own reports or export data, or you can sort things differently. Uh, basically, if you know Microsoft Excel, you should be able to get your way around Access pretty good. We always, of course, recommend using a backup copy of your database rather than the main copy of your database. Uh, that will certainly um, make sure you don't have any problems in Consign Pro. Uh, so make a backup copy of your database. Our database, by the way, is named consign.mdb. Mary David Boy, consign.mdb. That's your Consign Pro database. It lives on your computer, your server computer in your store. It is under the C drive, uh, program files x86, and then there's a folder called Consign Pro. And in that Consign Pro folder, uh, you'll notice the database. I'm going to jump you there right now. C drive, program files x86, Consign Pro. And I'm going to go in sorted order. I'll go down to consign. And there's your consign pro database. It contains every piece of data that's in your consign pro program is stored in that nice little file. You cannot open that file unless you have a copy of Microsoft Access. Uh, Microsoft Access is part of the Microsoft Office suite of products. And I think it's available separately for somewhere around 100 bucks. So if you're really into deeping, uh, dive, diving deep into your data or doing things uh, that consign pro can allow, copy of Microsoft Access will allow you to do that. In any case, uh, that's the nerdy part of uh, this presentation. The part that uh, I wanted to talk about is our custom reporting feature, which kind of exposes those tables that were in Microsoft Access through the Consign Pro program. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into our reports screen. Over here in the top right corner, we've got a tab that says Custom Reporting. When I go in here, I've got a big blank screen. I've got three steps at the top. Step one, select a table. Step two, select fields from the table that are going to appear on your report. Step three, select the criteria. And then down below, of course, we've got some features, view report, export data, and menu. Using this screen, we can either view the results of my report on a screen, or we can export them into a CSV file, which can be opened up in Microsoft Excel. So first step, of course, is to select the table we'd like to work with. And here are many of the tables from the Consign Pro database. Uh, we have consigners. I renamed this table for you in Consign Pro to make it a little bit clearer. I'm going to go to the consigners table. And for this sample exercise, I want to see every consigner who has a balance over $50. So I could select my consigners table. I care about their ID number, so I'm going to select it and then arrow it over to the reports fields. First name, last name, and of course, account balance. Now, if you're run, trying to create your own report and you're having trouble finding the field or fields you're looking for, just, just drop me a quick email note. I'll give you an example. Uh, if you wanted to see all consigner split percentages, well, interestingly, that's stored in a weird field called num1. Okay, and you wouldn't know it was in num1 because num1 is very uh, not very descriptive. So just say, hey Brian, uh, I'm looking for the consigner uh, split. I, I bet it's on the consigner table. What field do you have it stuck in? And I'll let you know via email or phone call that it is in a field called num1. 
In any case, I am going to go to the next step, step three, select criteria. And I want to see all account balances that are greater than $50. And I'm going to click the add it button and it's going to build that criteria string for me. Uh, you can build these criteria strings yourself if you want. I think it's neat to have our, our little helper do it. Uh, you can only select fields uh, from the helper that you've chosen in the report. Um, when you're done, you can click View Report. Let's see what happens. Okay. The report shows on the screen. Here's my store name. Here's the date it was run. Here are my column headers. And here's one consigner. Consigner number one, first name, last name. Count balance for 53.90, split percentage is zero, num1 field, zero, okay? If you wanted to, let's do uh, something a little bit uh, different than that. Let's clear the criteria. Let's say all my customer IDs greater than 1,000, add it. View report, no reports, okay. Let's say greater than 100. Okay, so here we've got quite a few. Here's all my consigner IDs that have an ID number greater than 100 and the other fields that I asked for as well. What you can do is you can say export data if it's large and maybe you want to sort it or do something like that. It's going to say where do you want to put this file? We're going to put it on my desktop. It's going to be called consigners.csv. I'm going to save it. You want to open this file now, yes or no, 464 records. I'm going to say yes, I'd like to open it. And on my split monitor, it popped up, Microsoft Excel. And here are the exact uh, fields that I wanted on the report with the account balance, uh, people with consigner IDs greater than 100. Okay. So from here, we can do some sorting. We could say sort by column. I'll do a custom sort, and I want to sort by first name, okay? Or I could sort by last name or any field you'd like. If I say, well, you know what? I'd also like to total up these account balances. I can go all the way to the bottom. I can say, let's go to this field right here and hit this auto sum at the top, hit enter. The total account balances of consigners with, with consigner ID numbers greater, to, greater than or equal to 100 is $2,143.19. Okay. So it's a great way to get at your data. Um, again, we've got a whole bunch of tables here. Just about every table in ConsignPro is mentioned here. If it's a table that doesn't contain data that's useful to you, so in other words, for system functions and things like that, um, I don't expose it in this list, uh, but you should have enough here to work with. Um, and again, if you have any questions about, um, you know, you want to run a report for, let's say, sales that happened on July 30th that there was a discount on, uh, you know, if, if you don't know how to do that and you want to just put those words into an email note and shoot it over to brian at consignpro.com, I can say, oh, that's our invoices table. You're going to need the invoice date. You're going to need the net due. Um, you're going to need the discount field. And then over here, we can say, give me those where the discount is greater than zero, add it. And if I run it, I'll get a report of all sales. Well, I would need invoice date too. I take that back. Let's say invoice date is equal to, uh, let's see, 7.30 slash 18. And when I add it, it's going to build that condition for me. It left out the and, unfortunately, so I need an and in here. Discount is greater than zero and invoice date is greater than, and it left it out because I did not select it here before I clicked add. Okay. So this is our and or. Uh, this determines whether the conditions or criteria that you put into this box must all match or must only some of them match, one of them. You can also, by the way, if, you, if you're used to these uh, and or type statements, you can use uh, things like uh, parentheses to set them off so this must this and this must be true or you know some other field must be uh, must be true net zero, net zero equal greater than let's say 100 um, so in other words you can use um, parentheses if you know how to do if you know boolean logic is what it's called um, and conditions or conditions uh, and how to bracket those off if you get stuck or you, you don't want to do that just drop me an email note and say here's what i'm trying to do how do i do it 
so again, view it on the screen, review report, send it to a comma delimited file that can then be opened in Excel so you can further play with that data, export data. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, the purpose of this tool is to get you into your data to look at things that we do not have a report for. All right. So that's it for today. If you have any other questions, uh, please let me know. Have a great day.